All right, let's do this. You guys ready? Ooh, take deep breaths. That's what I have to do to... Every time I have singing classes, we do that as warm-up. The first ever singing class I had, I was nervous. And after the first one, I was never nervous again. I was, it was more excitement than nerves. Like I really wanted to sing because I was interested in just hearing how I did. Cause I never ever, I pretty much never just sang out loud to myself before. So I didn't even know how my voice really sounded, especially on a microphone. So I was just excited to see what it fucking sounded like and what a class would be like. It was awesome, I fucking loved it. Still do. Linkus got a good laugh out of my stream title. Oh no, not again. Is this second time in like a week that somebody said Linkus was like talking about me? Is Linkus streaming right now? Did he mention it on his stream or something? I need to collaborate with Linkus again. It's been... I can't remember the last time we even spoke. I mean, Linkus streams like 10 hours a day every day, so it's like impossible to reach, to reach him. He's just constantly working. I've never seen a streamer work so hard like Linkus does, apart from Ludwig. Ludwig is the only other streamer I've ever seen that works as hard as Linkus does. Linkus is like insane, dude. What are some advice you have for small streamers to grow their channels? Good mic, good cam, and be interactive. Those are the only three things that you need. And apart from that, luck. That's pretty much it. That's how Twitch works. Good mic, good cam, good entertainment, or personality, whatever you want to call it. And the rest of it is just luck. Luck, but also hard work, obviously. Like the more, the harder you work, hard work always pays off. I'm a very firm believer in hard work always pays off. And it does. The more you stream, the more you work on your stream, the better you make it look, you know, the more entertaining you are, the better personality that you have. The more you try to interact with every viewer possible, you know, the better your chances are to be a better streamer and more successful. Because streamers who only focus on getting good at the game, in 2020, that doesn't work anymore. Back in 2014, when I played Mario, just becoming really good at Mario was enough for me to grow my stream a lot. But in 2020, it's like so competitive that you have to be very entertaining and have a good stream if you want to make it as a big streamer. If you want to just get bigger. Getting better at your game helps a lot too, obviously. But you need to be entertaining. You need to have a good personality. You can't just turn on your stream and have game capture and open your mouth and answer questions every like five minutes and expect people want to want to watch you for you, you know? Dr. Disrespect is the most entertaining streamer of all time. Like, he not only has like a very funny personality, but the persona he puts on, it's... He's an actor. He's a full-blown actor. He's not even a streamer. He's an actor. He's a performer. He puts on an act every single night. And that's extremely tiring, like it's... But he got so used to it that it became easier, but that's what he's doing. He puts on an act every night as a character, and the character's hilarious. It's hilarious and flawless. And he has crazy, like, graphics and designs on his stream that make it even better. So, like, it's no surprise that he's a big streamer. Plus, the way Twitch works, and YouTube, mostly Twitch actually, even more so than YouTube, I think. Unfortunately, the bigger you are, you just get bigger exponentially. You know, Ludwig is like a good example. Ludwig... Okay, fine. Ludwig is like the best streamer of all time. One of like top five, I think. Ludwig is me he was born to be a streamer. He just has a perfect personality. But like the first year, Ludwig grew from like 50 viewers to like a thousand. And then year two, he went from a thousand viewers to 30,000. It just gets exponential after a while. And then it plateaus. But the plateau is so high that it doesn't matter anymore because you fucking made it at that point. That's kind of how life works. The more money you have, the more money you could make. Same thing with Twitch, same thing with everything. I always talk about this, like I get worried about other streamers because I've had personal conversations with other popular streamers that I know that literally tell me, bro, like I'm so tired, man. I'm streaming so much, like this is so tiring. Like, I'm gonna get burnt out, and I'm like, then take a fucking break. Stop streaming so much. Stop being afraid to take a day off. Because streamers get so caught up in maintaining their sub count and being terrified of losing subs that they can't take a break. They're, they get terrified. Every time they lose subs, it's like, oh my god, I lost a sub today. What am I gonna do? It's like, bro, relax. People stream too much. The other day, I love Phil. Margin Phil is literally one of my best friends in the whole world in the streaming. The other day I saw Margin Phil make a tweet saying, I can't stream today. Um, I know I said I was gonna stream every day today this month, but something happened and I'm really tired and I just have to take the day off. 
and he was like feeling so bad about it. And I, I almost wanted to reply to his tweet and be like, Phil, it's okay to take a day off. Everything will be fine. Relax. Don't worry about it. You deserve a day off. You know what I mean? Like, I feel worried about them. So, people, yeah, it, it's very easy. Very easy to just be scared about losing subs or taking a day off, you know? Because, unfortunately, like, streaming is a kind of job where the more you work, the more money you get. And that could be very dangerous to your psyche. It is very dangerous to your psyche. Especially when you're young. It's like, oh, the more I stream, the more money I make. I'm just gonna fucking stream all day, every day. Fuck it. You know, but people have to be careful. Like, you're gonna burn yourself out and just go crazy. Is there a way you could make a channel point dump for viewers to put into a goal of like a super serious Mario day, no cam, no mic, try hard day? Uh, I don't know about that. I don't... <laughs> trust me when I say, like, having no mic or cam is not gonna make me play better. If anything, I'll just get bored way quicker and just end the stream, like, early. And it won't be fun for the viewers or myself. I would never do that. Like, the whole point of my stream, the whole reason why I like streaming is be is because of the interaction with chat. So, like, there's no way that I would just, like, even if I'm dying to get world record back and I'm like, oh my god, I need to get world record, which is kind of what I'm doing right now. I would never just, like, take off my webcam and microphone because I want to get world record back. It would just, it'd be so boring and not nearly as interactive. Like, I don't care enough about getting world record to just care about getting world record. You know what I'm saying? I've already experienced getting world record and breaking world records almost, I think, more than 15 times now total in my life so you know I know how it feels already so right now it's just more about the journey than actually getting world record back it's just it's just more about like the streaming experience and all the crazy stupid moments that happen I think McDonald's is disgusting so anything compared to McDonald's McDonald's loses in my opinion definitely Burger King over McDonald's sorry not sorry I'm disgusting I mean you could say that I mean McDonald's nuggets are good but like everything else is just gross five guys is definitely amazing I don't even I don't go to five guys to eat burgers I go to five guys to order large fries and eat an entire fucking like I I go to five guys to eat two bag full of fucking potatoes, all right? That's what I go to Five Guys for. If I wanna just eat fries till that kingdom come, I would go to Five Guys and be like, one large fries, please, and get two giant bags of fries inside of my asshole. That is why I go to Five Guys. <laughs> oh, and the peanut butter milkshakes, because I fucking love peanut butter, and I fucking love milkshakes. I'm not a big fan of burgers in fast food places. I almost never eat burgers. If I go, if I'm gonna eat a sandwich in a fast food place, it's 95% of the time a chicken sandwich. I don't eat, I don't eat burgers. Um, unless it's Five Guys or like, one time I had Whataburger. Was it Whataburger? Yeah, it was Whataburger. And it was like, fine. Yeah, if I order a burger in, in Burger King, I order the chicken sa I order long chicken, literally. Because in Spain, it's called long chicken as well. Why am I messing up countless? What's going on? I literally order long chickens. No meme. If I eat at Burger King, I would never order a burger. Oh, low key, I forgot. The other day we had Papa John's and we ordered uh, one of the appetizers, which was nuggets, like just chicken nuggets. And at first I thought chicken nuggets from Papa John's, this is gonna be weird. Bro, I'm not kidding, the best nuggets I've ever had in my life. It was like real chicken breasts and it was hot and it was like, it was amazing. Best chicken nuggets I've ever had was Papa John's appetizer nuggets. Oh my God, I, I was blown away. I literally told my brother, dude, I'm ordering Papa John's next time and I'm just ordering like four servings of fucking nuggets. My favorite Spanish dish. I like the breakfasts more than anything else. Like the tortilla. It's like a big giant omelet with potato inside. Very common Spanish breakfast. They call it tortilla, but it's basically like a giant omelet with potato stuffed in it. It's like really good. I really like that. And they always serve it like with a side of like freshly baked bread. The croissants and the toast with tomato and olive oil. You can't be just toast with some olive oil and tomato and some salt and a coffee on the side. Like we have, we'll have toast with olive oil. You put the olive oil and then you put, you take tomatoes and you like basically, you make it into a tomato paste. You literally just take tomatoes and fucking blend it into like a paste. Okay. And then you just put that on top of the toast with the olive oil and then put salt on top. Amazing. You can put black pepper as well, that's good. Another good thing we have 
is just croissants. You take a croissant, you heat it up, and then you spread butter and strawberry jam on it, and it's fucking amazing. We have strawberry jam and peach jam, and that with the butter is like, yeah. Croissant. Croissant. Quoi? It's croissant, not croissant. 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 Crescent. Crescent is different, okay? Mm -hmm.